My thing is that I've been asking questions about my money. And when I began asking questions about my money, suddenly Lori Schiller has got no response regarding my money. I want my money, this is not fair. And Wells Fargo has no questions and answers with regarding my money. This is, this is not fair. And Lori Schiller and Wells Fargo have this guardianship petition about keeping me away from my money. This is not right. And you know this is not fair. And this guy named Bernie Young, I know for a fact that Bernie Young used my American Express card to hire an attorney to file a petition against me. That was done with my American Express card. Bernie Young, you're no good. And this is not fair at all, you know? And then there's this person, um, this, uh, oh gosh, this, uh, a former, a former doctor, a former doctor, okay, had medical information about me that I never even got. It was sent over to Lori Schiller. So I haven't gotten the stuff. I fired the, the doctor. And again, all I wanna know is where is my money? This is not right. And certainly, this is not fair. This is not fair. You know, Wells Fargo has used all this stuff to create the guardianship over me. This is not right. And certainly this is not fair. The New York court system is, they, you know, uh, without evidence, they're being weird to me, this court system. Without evidence, uh, they took all this information and continued with what's going on with me based on what Wells Fargo is doing. This is not fair, this is not fair, you know? And the New York court, the New York court is treating me like they did in, do you remember Kung Fu judge case? Do you remember that Kung Fu judge case? That's not right and that is not fair. Lori Schiller, Bernie Young, and Wells Fargo. Please let me have access to my money. This is not right. And again, this is not fair. Have a pleasant day. Thank you. Hi guys, I welcome you back on here. If you're new, consider subscribing, liking, and also share this video. Now, the US daytime talk show legend, uh, that is Wendy Williams Hunter, was recently diagnosed with a very not so easy disease, uh, that is um, the progressive aphasia and frontotemporal dementia, AFTD. Actually, they say it's the same kind of issue which another movie legend that is Bruce Willis is facing. The team said they were sharing the news to correct the rumors that were inaccurate and very hurtful to the family and Wendy Williams, who is, by the way, a 59-year-old. They say, um, actually, this issue was diagnosed last year. She had been, you know, having um, un uncoordinated and, you know, um, stuff that were related to her behavior that were not so normal to the Winnie Williams we all know. So 
at the fans they were made aware by the family of course there was a documentary that was made and recently it has been circulated and so many people have actually come out to watch it you can check it out via various documentary streaming platforms on youtube or netflix and others actually it's a four hour documentary that actually tries to dig deep into what wendy williams is currently going through she's been suffering with health related issues for a couple of years now she had a show that was even cancelled in 2022 after producers actually failed to reach an agreement on you know how they were to conduct it and you know she was always in and out of the hospital so it's been already very tough for her but all we can say is let us continue sending her prayers because whatever she's going through is really tough because actually aftd is a disease that actually progresses over time and right now there there is no medical medicine for it they can only slow it down the doctors that's what they say and it's you know a disease that can just eat you up slowly so um we should send more prayers to her her family and of course the fans who really loved her because you know ftd is not so easy uh, they say it's uh an incurable brain disorder caused by a damage to the left side of the brain and it causes communication ability issues you know you cannot speak you know sometimes make uncoordinated uh, statements and stuff like that so it's a rare disease uh, that tends to strike by the way people at a very rare age i think between 45 50 60 like that which is not the case with other forms of dementia so let us continue praying for her because it's not really so easy. Then we also saw the, the niece coming out on the view, on view show, you know, and then she gave her side of the story, this, the side of the family. You know, very many people were accusing uh, the family of Wendy Williams that they have not, you know, uh, taken her to, to the medical personnel. They have not cared for her, but she refuted all that. And actually, she dug deep into the issues which Wendy Williams has been has been facing. So, she just needs prayers. Of course, she will be healed in the name of Jesus.